Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts back. Once again, another reaction for you guys today, guys. Of course, we are continuing Wolverine and the X-Men. This is Season 1, Episode 8, Time Bomb. That doesn't sound too good. That doesn't sound too good at all. But um, could this be referencing, potentially, I I'm not sure, potentially the bomb that goes off that has Professor X and Jean Grey, who's actually still missing, disappear? Is that what it may be referencing? Or something else entirely, I'm not really sure. But I'm still waiting for that mystery to be, you know, kind of unraveled, essentially. Because they keep going back to it pretty much in previously on the X-Men. And they are Wolverine and the X-Men, not the X-Men. But they, they go back to it quite a bit, showcasing it, highlighting it. I mean, one of the main things, of course, is Professor X is found. And he was found a week before the X-Men figured out where he was, which, of course, on Genosha. But he's been gone for a year, so where was he before he washed up on the shores of Genosha? Who knows? But I, I hope we get some answers for that because for me, I really, really like this show so far. And I hope that we end this one and only season, unfortunately, because they had a season two plan. They had stuff working on it and they, they were in the process of making it or whatever. I don't know how far they got into it, but they had... They showed character pieces for season two at, at like Comic-Con or something and then they didn't get the season two. But they had worked on it, but I hope that some of the things they, they basically throw out there as just wait we'll tell you what's happening i hope they answer it at least some of it because i don't want to end this and go oh shit they kept giving me more and more questions that i had and i didn't get a lot of answers but it's the way that things are now like you know you're planning for more than one season but you're not really sure but i just hope so but the last episode wolverine versus hulk hulk hawk hulk was really really good and uh it was definitely was funny at the end there when uh, the Hulk was going to take on Nick Fury and the shield and everything because he wanted some payback. He wanted to say hi to Nick Fury for lying about the whole uh, Wendigo situation, essentially uh, creating monsters and stuff because it really wasn't a uh, spiritual type thing for the Wendigo. Nick Fury made it. <laughs> He's been making uh, monsters, essentially. So let's get into now, guys. Episode 8 of Wolverine and the X-Men, Time Bomb. Let's get into it and see what this shows. Let's go. We're not the ones who picked this fight. We're just standing up for ourselves. You're asking me to join you? But you do. <laughs> I've decided. There's that guy again. Please. That quick. That's quick silver. Everyone is in danger. I'm begging you. Put me away. It's quick silver, right? Hey, bro. What you for? Huh? Maybe not. Maybe not quick silver. <laughs> The go man! No, I think he's just trying to run away. Did he die? Logan. Logan. Charles, nice to see you again. Piecing together the past has been a challenge to say the Hearing him say the past, like something. Did he tell him to take out this mutant? The time bomb? I don't know. Jumping? Why? One, you're disgusting. Two, mm. you make a mess out of everything. And three, you always get caught. Uh, okay, hang on. You broke in. Uh, hang on. To tell me. Yeah, see, they're not prepared for certain mutants, I don't think. You know what I'm saying? They're not prepared at all. They're like, they might be able to handle some low level mutants over the powers, but they can't do nothing against this. I'm surprised that machine can handle all those attempts without it like being destroyed essentially. Why can't Cerebro find her? Perhaps there's nothing to find. Oh, well, she's way, dead. Well, that's our job now, huh? Handing mutants over to the government? I'm sorry, but I didn't sign up for that. I said the same thing to Charles. He told me that if we don't, half the world's mutants are gonna get wiped out. Hmm. Gee, Toad's back. That's a surprise. <laughs> That's a surprise. Is it, it though? Is it really that surprise? Nitro. I think you'll like him. Just seeing Blob destroying shit. I hope we get Juggernaut in this show. You know what I'm saying? I hope he's in it. Go! Run! We can't do this. We have to help him! Sorry. Down the rabbit hole he goes. Down the rabbit hole. Oh shit. Oh my 
god. Holy shit. Barely made it. That's a way bigger explosion than the one that Toad saw. You know what I'm saying? Lied. What is happening? Yeah, always. It's kind of what I do. Yeah, but to Genosha? I see Genosha. Magneto doesn't even want you near his island. That was before. I mean, how can he not be impressed after I blew up the MRD archives? Has anyone ever tried shutting down your powers? A long time ago. Mm. Well, I'm guessing it didn't work. Look, I don't have all the answers, but if there's any chance at had... all, isn't it worth a shot? Mm. Probably don't have any answers. No. Hi, Rogue. Bye, Rogue. <laughs> I'm surprised that's actually doing something. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, got to bust the glass, unfortunately. That's a big landing strip. He's in bad shape. I'll get him back on board. We'll take care he of the brother. You shouldn't. You shouldn't get him back on board, especially if he's going to explode again. I guess it works on ice too. There you go. <laughs> oh, come on, Storm. Come on, you could have flew up and. Oh, damn. There you go. Dang. Get out of here. Psh. So pathetic. We have to do something for him. Try it. Watch out. Oh, now, oh, that's Rogue. I was like, wait, say, what? Oh, it's Rogue. Stay out of this, Wolverine. <laughs> oh, shit. Wait. Gotta get him out of there. Do something. Get a yeah, get a tornado going. Get him out. Yeah, get him up in the sky. Even though he was that high up, it still was a like really close to impact on them. You don't know how close. You would have been to Genosha by now and wiped out more than half the island. Mm, it that's here. what he stopped. Got a problem with that. Logan? I Damn, he walked away. Damn. We had to. Mm -mm. I think it makes it a little easier that Professor X says it needs to happen, unfortunately, due to his powers and he can't control them. I don't think he could control those. Okay. There you have it, guys. Time Bomb. This was a very, very interesting episode for a couple of reasons. Um, number one, Professor X gives us another mission, except... It's kind of vague at first, but it's like, uh, he's like, look, this goes against everything I've ever told you, Wolverine. And I think that's very interesting in terms of Professor X has taught, like, you know, the X-Men and his school. They've all, like, all these mutants and stuff like that went there. Like, they're all being taught kind of the same methods, the same way of thinking in terms of helping mutants and everything and stopping those that want to harm us even if they are mutants themselves which the majority of the time it is and for this instance in order to preserve mutants as a part of society in terms of the population of them i i have to ask you something that goes against everything i've ever said which is you know that's pretty crazy right especially for professor x to say it so let me find out it's time bomb aka nitro this character who I thought at first it was Quicksilver tricking to get inside where Toad was captured, of course. And it actually, I was completely wrong, okay? This giant explosion, it doesn't actually harm him at all, uh, Nitro, but he, he just randomly explodes. Now, I don't remember this character from the comics, so apologies for that, but very interesting. Very interesting powers, and it really is kind of 
devastating in a sense because as he said, and he didn't go into specifics, but just by certain wording that they're allowed to use on a TV show like this for, you know, mainly towards kids and where, well, kids can watch it. And I think adults can watch this too and still enjoy it. But it's, you know, kids can't hear certain wordings. Like I'm like, all of my family was murdered by me. Like he can't say that, but he just says, I, you know, I hurt everyone that I love. Just using that phrasing, we know what he's meaning. Meaning everybody who's ever been a part of his life, friends, family, all that kind of stuff, maybe he had a wife at one point. I don't know how old he is, but you get my point, or he had a girlfriend or something, or a boyfriend, whatever his preference is. But the point is, what I'm trying to make is that he basically has killed everybody, and he did not mean to because he can't control his powers. Maybe he could, but I feel like it's too... It's too insane. It's like too much power that it really can't be controlled. At least that's my interpretation of it because it just seems like he's never learned how to control it. So, of course, the Brotherhood breaks him out and uh, Toad had the idea. They were going to leave Toad there uh, captured, but they uh, broke out Nitro. I, I, just call, I was just calling him Time Bomb because that's what he was. And that was the episode title. He was a Time Bomb, essentially. And any time, he'll go off. So... They go through this whole ordeal, and then they're going to take him to Genosha, and that is what Professor X was trying to prevent, because he said half of the mutant population is wiped out due to this event, and the event is taking Time Bomb to Genosha, Nitro, and he, he wipes out half of the mutants on that island, which I guess is like half the population, or he wipes out a good portion of mutants on that, or maybe he destroys the entirety of Genosha. I'm not really sure, but essentially Wolverine and like the X-Men, like they stopped them from taking that plane to Genosha with him on board. Wow. And then it wasn't, and, and I thought maybe the, it would be too dark cause it wouldn't be for a kid's show, but maybe they have to take him out. You know, maybe he's too dangerous, but in fact, nope, the MRD has a, a sort of, machine that he was in before when uh, Quicksilver broke him out, the Brotherhood did. Um, he was typing all the codes like crazy. It was really freaking crazy how fast he was typing through all the codes to try to get the code right. Um, but he's able to, I guess, sleep forever, or I'm guessing that's what it is. And as long as he's there, as long as he's not broken out, which I, I feel like there's any chance someone could break him out because the Brotherhood know, knows he exists, but I feel like they're even scared of him now, especially after that last uh, time he exploded right above them. Uh, luckily, Storm was there to tornado him up in the sky because that explosion was massive. Um, but yeah, yeah, insane stuff. This also was a way to have more Rogue in the episode because we haven't seen Rogue much. And for us to kind of see she still is following the mindset of what she was, you know, taught. And she was actually still, like, questioning what the Brotherhood was doing and trying to help out Nitro here. And there's several times where Kitty jumps on the plane, hey, Rogue, or whatever, and then just keeps moving. And then we have Beast, excuse me, Rogue, but he's being nice. And Wolverine just completely ignores Rogue, completely ignores her. And I'm not gonna fault them for either being non like just you know passive aggressive to rogue or in the case of wolverine completely ignoring her because she did choose she betrayed the x-men they have every right to not speak to her and like a beast i feel like he's such a nice person and i you know he he's not gonna be an ass kitty was the nicest really in terms of her response like hey rogue and then she kept moving but uh beast like, excuse me rogue but he was just like excuse me i gotta take him and wolverine's like i don't give a fuck you are a piece of shit because you betrayed us. And that was really messed up. That was messed up. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on. Why did you do that, Rogue? And then, yeah, when she came into the end of that episode, when she betrayed them, I think it was Hindsight Part 2, she uh, was smiling like, oh, I got them. It's like, you're an ass. But then you portray her in this where she's like questioning what they're doing. Like, did, you, did you kidnap him? No, we liberated him. No, that's not what they did. You know that, Rogue, but whatever. I don't know. Uh, I was just happy that we saw Storm in this episode. I, I'm still trying to figure out why why she lied about Forge. Because Wolverine's like, okay, bring the Blackbird. He's like, well, uh, get Forge to bring the Black... Maybe it's because they didn't want Forge in the mission or something. They just wanted to keep Forge out. Maybe the actor wasn't available because I don't. he didn't speak at all. So maybe the actor just wasn't there, so they just threw that in or something. Or they made an excuse for him not to be in the episode. 
they could have easily just had an excuse for him not to be in the episode at all without saying anything because there were several episodes after, you know, a certain character was shown that we haven't seen them in a bit. So I'm not really sure. But I'm glad we saw Storm in this episode um, for sure. Now, I like that when the team is getting ready to go uh, at first and they were asked what the mission was. It was a rescue mission. We had to take him back to the MRD. And uh, Cyclops like, well, what are you talking about? We're not doing that. I am not signing up for that. I'm not going to be helping rescue a mutant just to take him back to the MRD. And then Wolverine's like, yeah, I, I didn't want to either. But Professor X says, we have to do it. So, man. I don't know. But this was a really crazy episode in terms of highlighting a new mutant that at any point could take out any of them regardless if they're good or bad he would he can't help it you know and i like how they had psylocke in the episode try to suppress his powers that wasn't going to work i mean it wasn't really temporary either because it was basically just suppressing the powers even more which mean the explosion was going to be even worse because you suppress the powers so uh i thought that was interesting that they had her in the episode so that, like they they have a telepath well she really didn't do much <laughs> <laughs> didn't really do much at all but overall enjoyed the episode it was really fun to watch and uh, I'm definitely more curious where we go from here because I, I think the storytelling is very interesting you know we're seeing um layers of some of these characters and the fact is is that is Rogue gonna try to get herself back in the X-Men I don't think so I don't think they're gonna let her back in but uh I'm curious about that because I feel like she still has that good in her so we'll see so what you guys think of this episode of Wolverine the X-Men I'm curious to know your thoughts whatever thoughts you have let me know in the competition below guys talk to you guys soon peace out